Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and in today's video it is February favourites 2020 2020 Still can't get over saying 2020, does anybody else get that? So if you've never seen one of my favourites videos before, basically I go through a load of things that I've bought or watched or eaten or been to or just all random things and put it into one video and it'll be the month of February. So all these items I've acquired or been to or whatever in the month of February. <sighs> it's a very mixed bag. Um, that, that's what happens in all my favorites videos. If you're a long time subscriber of this channel, you will know that it can get quite random. You can go from one thing to a complete different thing, but we love that, right? Before we get into the video, please subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel and you'll be notified in your subscriptions box when I upload some more content. First off, we're talking about male skincare. I think it's quite ironic that I'm talking about male skincare. I've got a massive breakout on my face, so um, apologise for that. <laughs> a few moments later. I know all too well about male skincare because I have eczema, which basically means my skin dries out very quickly and it gets like into dry patches and it's just so annoying. I have like all sorts of creams that I use that don't really work. Um, and then I have like my prescriptions from my doctors and stuff like for specific areas so like arms and eyes But everything else it just doesn't really work. So I was doing a bit of browsing and Everyone was raving about Lumin skincare for men. So it came when I ordered it it came in like a package deal so it was like a subscription thing where you get a free tester pack first so it came in this fancy little little sack thing and I thought that's a nice touch like even when you've done with the cream you can keep this little bag for like little toiletries if you go away or something so I liked that addition and then it came with three little sachets well not sachets they're like tubs I don't know why I call it sachets there's a dark circle defense if you can see that let's have a look there there's a dark circle defense there I do suffer with dark circles um it doesn't matter if i've had two hours of sleep or 12 hours of sleep it just like it looks like a massive shopping bag like honestly um <laughs> i've been using this for about two weeks now and it actually does work i've seen a result i do want to check just to see like i do it is dark here but here it must used to be so much darker and if i carry on using it I think the, they will go, or they will reduce anyway, because I remember at high school it was so bad, like it looked like I'd not slept for a week. But this is this really does help. Since I've gotten older, it has gotten a bit better, but it it, do, it does help to reduce it a bit more, and I, I like it. Next is the exfoliating rub, and unfortunately I can't use exfoliants or anything like that because it's, my skin is very sensitive so unfortunately i can't use that but my sister has used this i know it's for men but she has used this and she says it's very good so uh 10 out of 10 apparently and then lastly is the moisturizing balm and i do love this um the areas that i can't use my medical products on um i use for here so my, like my legs and things um it really does work um i've, I've seen a dramatic difference and I love it. So I got another subscription and it came a few days ago actually and they gave me a massive tub of this so I was like yes. So on the Lumin website there's all sorts of different packages. This package in particular is called the sleep management package. So the dark circles, the moisturiser and then the exfoliant for the night time. It's very well priced as well. I'll leave all the details in the description below as well as everything that I will be listing in this video today. And if you're not sure how to use each of the products they do leave you a little instruction manual in the um, little pouch thing as well so I thought that was a nice touch as well so it is very well priced um, and it's like a subscription so it, you can cancel at any time that's completely up to you um, but yeah it's very well worth it so as I said I'll leave everything in the description below I've just googled it and it is called the correction trio not the sleep management even though it is pretty much the sleep management um, correction trio so yeah it's very 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 good and I'm not sponsored so I'm just giving them free love there you go next up is a clothes haul and if anybody knows me very well they know I love clothes 
Um, my wardrobe is fit to burst. Um, there's too many clothes in there, but who has too many clothes? Who? <laughs> I don't know what that means. So with any wardrobe, I do think a leather jacket is essential and my old one was getting pretty tatty. Um, the shoulder, the leather was coming off the shoulders and to be fair, I had had it for six, seven years. So I was like, I need a quality new one. So I went to Zara. Yeah, <laughs> I won't tell you the price, um, but I saw it, I loved it. My old one didn't have this kind of pattern or these kind of pockets. It was very, just a standard one. So I like this one, if I take it off the hand, it's very nice, very nice. And I'll put it on for you, even though it doesn't really go with the shirt, but yes. Ah. So good, so good. You know, when I wear a leather jacket, I just feel like I want to do that all the time. I don't know why, but yeah, very nice and detailed in the back. Yeah, very, very nice. Oh, and it keeps you very warm. It's quite chilly in here, so I might keep it on now. No, I won't keep it on. I don't want to ruin it, but oh, very, very nice. The next item clothing is also from Zara and it is these fancy pants. I'm quite into fancy pants at the moment. It's kind of a greyish type of bluey splashed into it i don't know what kind of color that is it's kind of a very very faint light blue um or is it gray it, it, sometimes it looks blue ish and then sometimes it looks gray i don't know this light is showing it to be very gray but i don't know it came with this kind of accessory as well i don't know what it is but i kept it on um and I do wear these for work as well. Um, it's very casual, not casual, smart casual. I still don't know what this is. It kind of looks like a noose, which is very concerning, but yeah, just very, very nice. I must say out of nowhere, fancy pants and like pattern like plaid trousers and stuff are in. You don't see many people wearing jeans to like a posh do or anything, not, not posh, like, like, a, like when people say smart casual, they wear jeans, but some people like wear smart pants now and I'm all for it. Like I've got, I've got about five smart pants now. Could double in the next month, we'll see. So I'm going on holiday to Greece in July and I think it's now the time to start buying things for the holiday. And I do like in the night time to wear like some flowy shirts, not some like fitted ones. Not like this, like with different material. Like I like soft material. Um, especially on a night, it can be quite warm still. So I like this flowy shirt and the stripes are still in. Um, if you've watched my favorite videos before, you do know I'm quite into stripes and they're still making, still making things with stripes. I don't know where the thing's coming from. Kind of reminds me of a Chandler from Friends kind of bowling t-shirt, uh, not t-shirt, shirt. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but Yes, I do like this and the material is very, very soft and it is from Top Man. I also got this khaki long sleeve shirt from Top Man as well. And I usually have a white t-shirt underneath it as well and I leave it open. Um, I just like it, it's very, I don't have anything like this. And I just thought it looks nice. And it was a fiver, five pounds. Like it was in the sale. I was like, I am grabbing that before anybody else grabs it because it was quite manic in the shop. I was, everyone was like, I was like, no, that's mine. So yes, I did, I did like this a lot. And then finally, the last clothing item is this t-shirt with the patterned collar. It's kind of like a white, red winey kind of color. Um, if you watched my live stream from last Friday, you will recognize this because I wore it and it is very, very comfortable. Um, it's, I think loads of brands are starting to bring out the soft material instead of that harsh cotton. I don't like that, but I, I love this material. Um, love this. Um, this might be a work shirt as well, t-shirt. I'm not sure. It's very, very posh. Not posh. What's the word? Smart casual. What even is smart casual? Like who even just, who describes, oh, it's a smart casual party. Right, that helps me, that does not help me. The next favorite in this list is Life is Strange 2. And I've recently just finished episode five. So there's five episodes in the series. And basically 
It's about these two brothers on the run. Why are they on the run? I'm not going to spoil it. But the little brother ends up having these powers from God knows where and he has telekinesis so he can move things with his mind and it's just like ah. so if you played life is strange one you'll remember that the main character could control time in that series so in the second series he has telekinesis this little boy so i feel like there's a running theme here with if there's another life is strange there's going to be someone with another power or something and they all come together and it's the Avengers. No, I don't think so. But it, I'm, I'm, I was so hyped for this game. The story is a bit meh at times, but the bond between the two brothers is quite interesting, quite intriguing. And the, the amount of twists and turns you go through, it's amazing. And the choices you make actually do make the game different like you you play some games where it's like choice based and whatever choice you make it doesn't really affect the game at all but in this game it actually does also i like games where once you've completed it you can go back and like change your choices and things so i love replayable games because there's some choices where you make that choice and they can completely destroy everything they've done in the part in the future and then just it's a completely different story i love those kind of games. The next favourite, and I feel like this favourites video this month is very male dominated, but it is Men's Shore Deodorant. This is the only one I like. I have tried all the others. I don't like the others smell. I don't, they don't work. All the others just don't. This is the only one I found that doesn't make me, how do I put this? Sweaty. It actually smells nice. I mean, I don't recommend shooting it up your nose, but it does smell nice because you can get some deodorants that are so overpowering the smell that it covers up like your aftershave or whatever perfume you use or whatever um and it just ruins what well, like what's the point of putting aftershave on if you've sprayed this and it just smells awful do you know what i mean so this is a very very nice one there's not that much of a smell to this but the hints that you do get are very nice so I would recommend it and it is 48 hours I mean I mean hopefully you wash and everything before that but 48 hours yeah you know if you're in the wild and you need that 48 hour spray there you go speaking of aftershave Mont Blanc Explorer ah this is the new Mont Blanc aftershave um there was one previous to that and it's called Mont Blanc Legend and everyone knows that I used to wear that religiously. Like I used to keep one in my bag, one in my bedroom, everything. I had about three bottles at one point. I, I don't know why. But I've upgraded and everyone's like, what the hell? You smell different. But it's good and I, I love it. And it's come, it comes in a very nice bottle as well. Um, I've got to say, um, it's all gone. I was very nervous. I've got to say, I was very nervous to try a new aftershave because... I do. I, I did stick to Mont Blanc Legend a lot and it does smell nice and it's the smell I was looking for. You know when you're looking for perfume slash aftershave and you're just like, I'm looking for this certain smell and I can't find it, but that well, Mont Blanc Legend was the smell. But then I had this one, Explorer, and I was like, ooh, this is the smell but upgraded. And it, it really is, so I would recommend this, guys. Or girls. I know some girls who wear men's deodorant and men's aftershave. Do what you want. The next favourite is a YouTube slash Twitch channel and it's called Descartes Games. And if anybody's played Detroit Become Human, you'll know what I'm on about. Um, the guy who plays Connor and the girl who plays the Tracys, they are married. Like, in real life, they're married. And I didn't even know this, but I was like, wait, okay. Because I knew Amelia Rose Blair from Scream and... Then, when I was playing Detroit Become Human, I was like, I know this face from somewhere. So I did a bit of digging and I found her on Twitter. So I was like, oh, follow. And then she was streaming. So I was like, she's streaming? So I checked out the channel and she was streaming with Brian Descartes. And I was like, wait, that's Connor. I'm like, wait, what? So. I was really, really confused, so I did a bit of more digging, and I was like, oh, they're married. I was like, how is this, how? How did I not know this? So, 
I stumbled across their channel and I ended up watching a load of their videos and started joining their live streams and stuff and they are the most positive people ever. Anybody knows that in my personal life I'm going through utter crap at the moment and when I watch Descartes Games' Twitch streams and catch up on their YouTube videos from the Twitch streams, it's some sort of escape. Like, I feel like nothing's going on in life. It sounds so dramatic, but I just escape into their channel just for a few hours and I feel good. And I do watch them before I go to bed. And honestly, they're lovely people. Lovely people. They're so into everything. And they put their heart and soul into the games, into interacting with the uh, fans on the Twitch streams. They're just just lovely, lovely people, and I cannot thank them enough. Um, I, I don't even know if they're going to watch this. Probably won't even watch this, but thank you. Because <laughs> honestly, you have helped me a hell of a lot. Um, more than you'll know. So thank you. Just keep doing what you're doing, and spreading positivity is something we have in common. Before I start bawling into the camera, let's go on to the next favourite. So last year I met someone who was really into Spanish and I thought to myself, I really want to learn Spanish as well, but I was doing really crap and then I was using Google Translate and that sometimes doesn't even make the right word and then it kind of translates into like a different kind of Spanish and it's just not the proper Spanish. So I scoured the apps on, I don't know why I'm holding a pen. I scoured the apps and I found a app called Modly, Mondly? Mondly, let me see if I'm getting this right. Mondly Spanish. So basically every day you get little, like little tasks and you learn new words and I'm learning quite a few things. So hasta la vista, hola. Um, oh, what was the word for butterfly? Oh my God, what was it? Mariposa, mariposa, that was, that was the word. I was like, I like that word, mariposa. It's the word for butterfly. I don't know what I'm going to use that in a sentence. Oh, mariposa, mariposa. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. So I've been using this app for a few days now and I'm on family members at the moment. So it's hermano, hermana, padre and madre, madre? So brother, sister, father, mother, I think. I I'm getting there. And then it's like uno, dos, tres, Cuatro, cinco, siete, otro. Yeah. To be honest, some of these things I learned from Dora the Explorer when I was little. Like, I, I knew the numbers, but um, other than that, I'm learning loads of different things. So, mariposa, mariposa. Oh, there's another word as well. Is it hermosa? I think that means beautiful. Hermosa? Eres hermosa? You are beautiful? Marks out of 10, please, in the comments. And then my last favourite for this month is Liverpool. I absolutely love the little fishing village of Liverpool. Um, I really do. And you'd be wondering what Ryan, why you sat here. It's because I'm going to show you some pictures here, and I just love it. I absolutely love it. Um, the shopping's amazing. The people are lovely. You know, if you want to go and get a can of coke, it's just amazing. Honestly, um, it was during the time where I was just switching off from all the social media and I was like I want to go somewhere and I had a, like a trip planned anyway going to Liverpool so it was just off the cuff I was like I'm going to Liverpool I ended up going and I just loved it if there was one one of the places I'd happily move to would be Liverpool it's either Liverpool or Glasgow or New York so yeah not 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 cheap or anything so if you're new to these favorite videos I told you these videos are random Thank you for letting me share all these different favourites with you. If you have any of these favourites or you're going to acquire one of these favourites or you've been inspired to do something with these favourites, then let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I love chatting to you guys in the comments. It's so fun and you're all so lovely. Lovely. Although I got one troll um, last week saying you look like a cupcake and I was like, well, Thank you, I love cupcakes, so thank you very much. What kind of frosting am I? If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It really helps out the channel and it kind of 
gauges how I'm doing at the moment. <laughs> I really want to get to sub 700 subscribers by the end of the year. Um, I know it's quite I don't know is that ambitious i don't know but i really want to get to that goal so let's do it let me get out of this 600 hole that i've been in for very 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 many years before i go off on a tangent i will leave it there thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye